Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to order the rows of a matrix according to its first column using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the matrix that we can create with lines 2 to 5 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of R Studio that we have created a new matrix which is called MyMet and we can print this matrix to the RStudio console by running line 6 of the code and after running this line of code you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have created a new matrix that consists of 5 rows and 3 columns and you can also see that the first column of our matrix is not ordered according to its values. Now if we want to sort this matrix based on the first column then we can apply the code that you can see in line 8 and in this line of code I'm specifying the name of our matrix then I'm opening a square bracket then I'm specifying the order function and within the order function I'm subsetting our matrix to return only the very first column of our matrix then I'm specifying a comma and then I'm closing the square brackets and the output of this is then stored in a new matrix object which is called myMetSort. So if you run line 8 of the code you can see that a new matrix object appears at the top right of RStudio and we can print this new matrix to the RStudio console by running line 9 of the code and then you can see at the bottom that our matrix contains the same values as our input matrix However, this time the rows of our matrix are sorted according to the first column. So in this video I have explained how to sort the rows of a matrix according to its first column in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I am explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.